Hey, what's going on? Adam and Gio. This is Coach Cathcart again. Thank y'all for sending me the video back in uh, for the second analysis. So let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. Um, here is the problem. Um, you know, I don't know what's going on in games or if y'all playing or whatnot, but here's launch position, okay? And this is actually pretty good with the feet, okay? I like the width that we've created, okay? Um, I'm not unhappy with where those hands are, okay? However, we are a little bit early with the back elbow, even on this one, just a touch right in there. Okay, but the biggest thing that I want to look at, and we're going to have to, Geo, man, we're going to have to figure out what to do with his head, because I'm going to bring you back in just a minute and take you from where you start, but from right here, okay, this is launch, bud, the head cannot move, right over here, let's get that foot down, right there, head cannot move, now watch how much head motion we have from this point. Okay, I mean, we're in baseball world. Okay, getting from there in launch to there with your eyes. Here we go. Eye level when the foot hits the ground. Eye level now as we're getting into our swing. And then we're able to stay there. You need to be able to stay right there, my man, okay? Now, from that point, if we can stay there, everything else lo starts to look okay. Let's go ahead and take this one through, okay? We've got a little bit of that lunge going right in there, okay? Where that head's starting to move forward, and then this back leg really isn't starting this back hip and backside isn't really starting to rotate. Okay, I want you to take a look right here. This knee is just going to start to drop, this back knee. Now, it's going the right direction, but we're not turning to get there. And as it drops, the hands are dropping. Okay? We got to be able to take those hands from right there, my man and get those bad boys working that way, okay? And as it stands, we're dropping them, we're dropping them, we're dropping them, and the bat, I'm gonna clear all this out, fellas, and now we've lost control, because now the bat is way away from that right shoulder at that point, okay? So we still got a little bit of a lunge issue, a little bit of head motion, but we really gotta work on getting into your turn, okay? Now we're gonna come over here to the left, all right, so at this point right here, okay, foot down, this is where now we should see a turn, that knee starts to work in, okay, and this core starts to rip through right here. At this point, on this one, you can see again, we're just working down, we're not really, we're not really releasing that hip at all, right? There that hip starts to go. Okay, and by that point, we've already got the barrel really flat, okay, away from us again. This back elbow in here. And then as we pull through, we get into a pretty good position. Okay, right in here, everything looks good. I like this, you know, we stabilize pretty well. Okay, and then we get a follow through. I'd like to see that wrist a little more flat right in there, not bowed out as much. But everything else looks pretty solid, man. You're just having a tough time getting from here, keeping this head perfectly still, and getting into your turn. Hip turn, core rotation. All right, now we can still get that back elbow up here a little bit more. Okay, and that would help you stay more connected at the top. But if we get away from this little bit of drift and start to turn that little drift right there, that move 
right there is the one. We got to be able to get here and turn. We can't keep going. You see that head start to go forward. Okay, now I've got another circle. Right? So my head is moved. Barrel gets away from me. Back elbow starts to work under. We just kind of lose control of the swing at that point. All right, so let's go back. I'm going to compare. Okay, let's look at that launch position again, how we just stopped the head. So y'all give me one second. a really really good launch position right here and this kid does a really good job of stopping his head then I'm gonna go back and we're gonna talk about the load okay so let's right here we're gonna talk about all this because this this is something else that I want to change okay not not a fan back down up lunge okay so right here launch position here we go all right launch position now watch this fellas that head I'm going to put a little bitty dot on it. I'm going to put this as his spine. And we're just going to turn right here, guys. Start that turn. Start that turn. Looky there. Foot down, head stops. And we get into our turn right around that spine and line it up. Alrighty. Over here. Get us here. Our spine is a little bit set back, okay, which I, I don't hate it. I, I like a little more centered, but I don't hate it, okay? And then as we go, though, we get way off that line, okay? So you know the lunge is there. You get way off that line, okay? And by the time we're done swinging, that thing's back behind us, okay? So we, we've got a lunge in there. Now, again, this position, guys, okay, I'm going to undo you. This position that you're in, Geo, here is good, my man. Okay, that's nice and balanced. You, you look like this guy over here on the right. However, you didn't start your swing there. You started your swing here. And then lunged into that, and then we're able to stabilize. Okay, and that's just a lot of head movement, especially as you get older. From launch position, you can't have that drift. All right. So that was the launch position part of this. Again, let's run this back right here. Okay, so nice load into a balanced launch, head stops. And now we turn around that spine, boom. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and clear this. Now let's take this all the way back, Gio. We're gonna talk about this load, man. Okay, you, there's too much going on here for me. Um, you know, unless you're still hitting, you know, over 500, 400, whatever it is but okay this is a whole lot of motion so the first thing we got let's get you all the way back here all right so from right here we're gonna we're gonna trace this belly button movement okay so there all the way back here And then we're gonna go up. Now my belly button's here. Gonna keep going up. Now I'm right in there somewhere. And then I'm gonna come back down as I get into this. Now this would be launch position and now we're back to where we started. And it's just a whole lot of motion. If we could limit that just a little bit, I'm going to come back over here to the right with my guy. Okay, so right here, start a little more narrow, man. Belly button. Belly button down. Down even more, and then we stay down there. Boom. Okay, so now we're looking at this. Okay. And this was just the down move in the load. Okay, that's just him loading. So once he gets loaded right in there, that belly button's not moving very far, guys. All right, 
There it is in launch. Oh, sorry, not there. Right in there, right in that area, okay? Versus this huge amount of motion that we've got over here. All right, so again, if you're getting this timed up, man, and you're having success in games, and we're just trying to clean this up, and you don't have a problem, then okay. But I would like to see that load toned down. I'm going to clear all this out. <clears throat> if we could get away from that big drift. Okay, Adam, what I want you to do is I want you to put a line on the ground about right here for him. Okay? And then I want you to watch that belly button and I don't want that belly button to get past where his back hip started. Okay? Don't let him get past there. Okay, we're getting all the way back here. Okay, stop him. Right there. Okay, and then let him go ahead and you can use a you know abbreviated leg kick, you can do whatever. Okay, we can widen him up if he likes that little rock, but all that motion, man, that's a long way for a young kid to go, and then we're kind of in this lunge position, just ever so slightly right there. All right, so clean up that load a little bit, man, tone it down, and then get that head stopped like my fella over here, and get turning around this axis, and you will be good to go, my dude. Y'all be good.